Okay, YouTube, I'll make another video on this. Somehow my switch didn't fix it, so let's do it again. Here's a 2007 Jeep Commander two-wheel drive V6. Code says uh, C1044 C, ABS code. It's lighting up all three of those lights. ABS, uh, electronic slip protection, and BAS for baloney, of asphalt spinning or something, and the traction control light over there. All three of those light up. I got the actual brake light. That brake light was lighting up before I switched the switch, and I got my brake lights working, and that brake light went off. So I says, okay, I fixed it. Well, this the, the ABS lights are still on. I don't know why. So let's just go through. I'm going to change this switch again. Who knows? It's from O'Reilly, so uh, I can't do this with one hand. Ow! That's why I do use two hands. Get a tripod. So, rip that off. This pulls right off. You pull it at the right angle. Okay. It's got a little spot like that and a thing like that. So you can see the angle. You got to pull it. Don't pull it down. You'll break this off. You'll just pull it ah, out that way. It takes a little bit of force. It takes two hands. Don't hold a camera and try to do it at the same time. Where's my torch? Torch on. Okay, here is a brake switch. Pretty easy to take out. Turn, boop, comes right out. Okay, there's the bracket it goes in. Thin metal bracket where you see that little notch to it. Switch. See the back of the switch? See it's got a pop in there? And I had to hit mine. I could not push it in by hand last time. I had to use a little wood stick and a hammer to get these ledges past that little metal. But it's saying stuck, plunger stuck half open. I can't pull it out anymore. It's a brand new switch. It felt different than the, the old switch seemed to be bad. So I'm quite certain that this it did fix half the problem, so I highly doubt it's going to fix again, but it was only 8 bucks at O'Reilly's. They'll warranty me, so I'm going to go get another one right now. Be careful when you... Ah, it's held on by these little two little green things. I got to little, get a little pick or a little screwdriver. I had to poke at it for like 30 or 60 seconds to get those uh, in without breaking any tabs. Okay. Okay, YouTube, uh, ignore my last video. Some idiot installer did it wrong last time. Okay, here's a new switch. Here's this little tab that's got to line up with that little tab. Now, last time I could not shove this in for about five minutes by hand. But the trick to this, why my new switch didn't work, this turns. That's why the other guy says turn it when you put it in. This, I'm not going to do it right now until I put it in, but this turns straight and it like uh, pops this out or in and my last switch, I turned it and sure enough, it clicked when I was out of the car and this thing, this plunger stuck halfway in. So that was the problem last time. Eric, cameraman. Uh -uh. Stop smoking. Uh -uh. Stop smoking. <laughs> Got to do a good YouTube video. Can't hold this camera at this same time. It's probably why I couldn't do it last time. It's probably why I screwed up the job. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. Obviously, the little dicky do has to go in the little notchy notch, so it goes in like this, and then which way does it turn? This way. Hold this camera. Click. Oh, I busted it. Busted it. See? See how it's turned now? Hold this camera. Okay. I got busted the new switch. 
Okay, so that's how it comes from the factory. I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to turn it. Okay, a little dicky do has to go on that notch clearly. So then you're going to want this switch pointing where you can plug it in. Okay. Try going like over here. Well, I don't know if you can see it in there. Man, this is hard. So I couldn't do it last time. I could not get this in. I've been shoving on this thing. We're back recording now. Darn it! Stop. Okay, here's a little thingy manjiggy. Plunger goes like this, but this snaps over once you just turn it once you put it in there I'm going to turn this and it's going to turn this thing to be lined up with this let's try it again it's only one way to go when you first put it in the sticky do has to line up with the notch and just like last time I could not put this in by hand See, see, how I'm lined up now. I, I turned it, but I didn't get it in. I don't want to. <clears throat> <clears throat> Robo grips. Okay, I got it. See that? Did you get it on camera? No, I got it. Everything's the way it there. snapped. Heard the snap and all of that. Okay, so. With the dicky do. This should. Like pop past the little metal flange. You obviously got to line up the dicky do. The with the notchy do. notch. With and the then when you notch. install it. You click turn it. And somehow. It changes the action of this plunger once you do that. Again, I'm going to show this. The struggle is real, man. I'm not going to show it's real easy. Because I could not do this for five minutes last time. I ended up slamming it with a hammer to get it in there. Well, that didn't work. It doesn't go. There? Man, I mean, you sure you shouldn't be over here showing how the match is? Can't you know? see through your hand either way, Bill. Look well, at it. Yeah, can't you can see through and get on the way. side there, like that. Oh, you're crowding me so much, though. Yeah, well, it's bothering you're, me. You're doing this on the phone. It's bothering me. You got my well, phone right in my face, so I can't well, see. I, that you wanted the phone over here. Oh, oh, I, I can't get it. I'm telling you, this is exactly what I went through last time. Man, can I see? So strange. Can I see that? Can I, can I try? Let me try. Let me try. From right here. From right here. Give me this camera. Take the camera then. And then you turn it. Once you get it in, right? You turn it? Supposedly. Oh, it's not easy. Problem is, I busted my hand the other day. That's how you put your finger up. Uh, that's for another job, right here. Cut it good. Underside of my hood. What are you doing? It's in there. What are you doing? On the light. There you go. Hold this camera. Okay, this is not turned right now. Mm -mm. I didn't turn it. 
I was just, just I really bracket. was just trying to line this everything up. There. You're going to get it past these little, this little ridge is going to hold on the, the metal uh, bracket. It's a real thin piece of metal and it's going to go to there and that's what's going to hold the little spring tension of this. So it should be real easy. As shown on YouTube, it's easy. Dash, dang it. That might be it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I didn't snap. I didn't okay. hear snap. I didn't like it. I didn't hear snap. You but didn't it, turn it, it either, did it you? It kind of squeezed and I turned it. Now, keep showing that because this wire. Also, not about to be easy to get in. Gotta avoid the. Um, obviously, you gotta avoid the steering shaft spinning. My flashlight goes dead, of course. Shut the light, dang it, over here so I can see it hey. on top of the switch. There you go. No, you're cold. Yeah. You remember how you did this the first time? Remember that girl behind your old Catholic school? You remember how to do this? I can't find a hole. There you go. There you go. Click. Now, last time she made a sound. Click. This time it was just a click. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, let's see here. Now, I'm going to start the car. Ready. Turn the key on. The lights work. Now. Crap. I gotta drive this car. I don't to get those to go off. Let's try. Y'all remember when he said the struggle is real? Let's try. Let's just show the, the struggle whole, is real. Show the whole process. Race. Race. ABS. Done. Did not go off. Said, oh! Did that go off? I saw the lights off. Oh, lights are working. about it he gets so excited oh, you guys. about it zero dtc detected that's how you do it man eight dollars black lives matter you don't need to pay no 259 dollars <laughs> to the dealership eight bucks and we know what the hell we're doing now the struggle is real now do i pay the 45 dollars for the e i now i'll make another video e s i m thank you to the other guy on youtube piece of cake to change in the back, I got a check gas cap. I think we got to run it for a while, see if it resets, but I might have to spend $45 for a new ESIM. That's awesome!